हेलो वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर नंबर सेवन ऑन रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एब्स्ट्रैक्शन व्हाट इज एब्स्ट्रैक्शन एंड व्हाट आर डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ एब्स्ट्रैक्शन व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एब्स्ट्रैक्शन इन रिसर्च एंड व्हाट आर डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ एब्स्ट्रैक्शन इन रिसर्च वी वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टूडे Let me tell you that in research, the abstraction ladder is based on various steps. What we call the abstraction ladder, and we step up on the basis of various stairs or steps. If I call it uh, the levels of abstraction in research, it won't be wrong. At the lowest level, what is that? Let me check. It. Let me tell you. At the lowest level, what we call it is empirical level. at the highest level that is called abstract level so at the lowest level we add various things what is included in uh, at empirical level observations of the objects that's one aspect that's one thing that is included in empirical level events and occurrences what we call or uh, the reality so these two aspects are there these two compositions are there components are there in empirical level when we move up at the higher level little bit higher we call that is concept or concepts and we add constructs as well concepts are the abstractions of anything in understanding semantically what we call some constructs combine together and make concept or concepts we move up a little, little bit up the next tier that would be proposition or propositions in qualitative terminology we call that proposition in quantitative aspect or research we call it hypothesis and then if we go further higher or that the highest level that is theory multiple propositions combine together and make up theory so let me co uh, cover up this at the lowest level there is empirical level at empirical level we have observations of objects or occurrences we move higher to the next step that is construct multiple constructs combine together and make concept then you combine multiple concepts and you make proposition or propositions or you call that hypothesis you combine multiple hypotheses and make theory so at the lowest level there is empirical level at the highest level that is abstract level so this is what we call levels of abstraction in research today the second aspect what i am going to share with you here is what i call the theoretical framework and conceptual framework you would have you you would have heard about conceptual framework and theoretical framework so let's talk about theoretical framework first theoretical what is theoretical framework in your mind i would recommend you to pause my video and comment below all right so theoretical framework provides a general representation of relationships between things in a given phenomenon the conceptual framework on the other hand embodies the specific direction by which the research will have to be undertaken so let's move further what is conceptual framework conceptual framework is used in research to outline possible courses of action or to present a preferred approach to an idea or thought i tell you conceptual frameworks are just like road maps or maps that give coherence to empirical inquiry conceptual frameworks to some extent in different uh, places people use them as theoretical frameworks as well or they call theoretical frameworks are a type of intermediate theory that have the potential to connect to all aspects of inquiry all aspects of inquiry for example problem definition purpose literature review methodology data collection and analysis statistic statistically speaking the conceptual framework describes the relationship between specific variables identified in the study 
It also outlines the input, input, the process and the output of the whole investigation. The conceptual framework is also called the research paradigm. All right. Uh, I'm going to give you some examples of theoretical framework and conceptual framework. But before I give you some examples, I would request you to pause my video and comment below by giving some examples of theoretical framework as well as conceptual framework. Okay, examples of theoretical and conceptual framework. Uh, what, it, what comes in my mind? Theoretical framework, for example, stimulus elicit stimulus elicits response so whatever the stimuli would be whatever the stimulus would be it would generate response that can be one of the theoretical framework it would be based on multiple propositions multiple uh, concepts multiple constructs and support supported by various uh, researchers or the researches done in the world let me give you some example of conceptual framework. A conceptual framework example could be new teaching methodology improves students academic performance. Okay. So uh, today's lecture was lecture seven. My name is Dr. Zia. I thank you very much. Please subscribe, like, press the like button and share. I thank you very much.